sorry about that, babe. Alright guys, welcome back to Bits Play as Fantasy Star 2. This is my first ever playthrough. We're playing on the Mr. FPGA, and this is part 6. Uh, in the last part, we left off here in the town of Quarry. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway. We did a little bit of grinding. And here, you could see my current level in Meseta status. I didn't buy anything since then. Uh, and I think that I got a new tech. For, oopsies. Don't mind that. I actually took a, a bathroom break and I went to go get a drink so my controller shut off. Um, it was Nay learned Nasak, which apparently is the same thing as Sack, meaning she dies, but she heals everybody instead of, I guess, one person. I, again, don't really know how useful that is, but it's okay. Um, all right. So let's start talking to people here. Let's see if we can gear up a little bit, and then, uh, presumably we're gonna use our jet scooter thing and look around. Oh no, humans! Oh no, humans! Oh, here we go. They say the ocean and the lake are connected under the ground. It was 50 years ago and Mother Brain prohibited people from going to the ocean. I remember there was a rocky island named Uzo in the ocean. My boyfriend lives on the outskirts of town, so that nobody disturbs his work. I wonder if her boyfriend is in that building. In this town, there are many stories about the ocean. Hey, have you met our friends in Roran? Yup. The ancestors of the people in this town used to work in the ocean. Welcome to Quarry. Hey, have you met our friends in Warren? Uh, dude, repeated dialogue and noise the crap out of me. Just, I don't care. Say anything different. <laughs> they say people in the old days used to eat something before going under the ocean. I wouldn't care if, you know, instead of... Hey, have you met our friends in Warren? The guy goes... Have you been to Roran any time recently? Like, hey, just different. Anything. Oh no, humans! Welcome to Quarry. In the places where the color of the water is different in the ocean, they say it's because the water from the lake. Oh no, repeated dialogue. Alright, let's see who's in here. I am working on inventing a new kind of gum. Do you know what... Mar... Marera? Marera? Leaves are? No. There is a Marera tree on an island in the sea. The leaves of that tree produce a large amount of oxygen. I want to use the leaves to make a special gum. Let's see, breathe underwater. <laughs> I need some of those leaves. If you find any, let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Noted, sir. Do, do, do. All right, let's check out this. Oh, this stuff's expensive as shit. All right, knife boots. <laughs> what the hell? I'm assuming knife boots might also raise your attack. But I don't know. Let's see. Foot gear. Yep, knife boots raises your attack. Plus seven. That's interesting, actually. Very interesting. Um, with that being said... I don't know if it's worth it. Hmm. I don't know, maybe. Well, actually, no, I take that back because... That's... Sh I gotta see what we're currently equipped with. So she's got sandals on right now. 
So it would be a bump up in defense, and also plus seven attack's pretty good. Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Gotta thinky 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 here. I'm also tempted to bump Rolf up here, because he seems to get hit pretty hard. Fiber gear, fiber coat. Titanium. Although, honestly, Titanium Cape for Amy is probably the better move here. So now I really gotta think this through. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Alright, let's go sell that. And then let's see if we want to upgrade Rolf or get those kind of slick uh, <laughs> knife boots for, for Nay. That was a little disappointing. Decisions, decisions, guys. 4,224. Oops. No, I don't have enough. Don't have enough money. So we would want that for Rolf or the boots. I guess the first thing would be the titanium chest would be a plus 40. Oh, no, 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 excuse me. Plus 21. So, what does he have on currently? Got a fiber coat, which is plus 8. So, that's basically three times better. Hmm. I don't know, man. I actually might hold on to my money. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass cheeks. God, now to remember. I think the thing would be down here on the coast somewhere. here, right? Oh shit, was I wrong? Oh fuck, where is the... Man... Where is it? <laughs> Can't even remember now.
Hmm. Was it down here? Oh no, this was the dungeon area, so would it warp back here or no? Doesn't look like it. Well, shit. Maybe if I warp back to the town that I was just in, I'll just try to go to the coastline and see what's there. Because it did seem like it followed. Yeah, it's certainly not here. That's fine. Uh, ba -ba 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 Ryuka. save because again after I got wiped out by those dudes I'm uh, very very cautious you never know okay so yeah I guess my goal right now would be leave town and try to get to the coast as quickly as possible So if we're here, the coast is probably this way. Mm-hmm. All right, we are jet scootering. <clears throat> oh boy. So I'm guessing <clears throat> when these dams eventually get unclogged or whatever, we could probably ride through them. From what I could see on my map, there should be a town here. This is not a town. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is one of the early dungeons. My bad. That's a... Right? Yeah, I think so. That is my mistake. think this through then. If I was down in the south, like where the hell I'm wondering if I'm wondering if the, excuse me, I'm looking at the map right now, I'm trying to figure out if that's, I think, I think I know where I want to go. 
it's actually gonna be a ways. Yeah. That's okay, though. I think I actually want to go here. Oh boy. Not liking the fact that we didn't attack the vortexes. That's a lot of Maseta. We like that. Hell yeah, brother. This enemy is cool as hell looking. That was really cool looking. There we go again. Dungeon. Nice. <clears throat> Alright. I want it to be a pilot, but I guess I can't be one since there's no spaceship. Seems. Uh, Hey, what's outside of Olgo? How come we can't go there? Did you know that it is impossible to travel to outer space now? When people refer to the accident of 10 years ago, they mean the collision of spaceships over Dezo. After the accident of 10 years ago, the use of any spaceship has been prohibited. The town is called Piata. It used to be a spaceport near here. The last spaceship was headed toward the outside of Algo. There used to be a spaceship... Uh, there used to be spaceships taking off for Palm and Dezo, one after the other, when there was a spaceport. And this looks like the outside of town? Oh, this town's huge, man. I heard that there are all kinds of arms in the dam. What the hell does that mean? Yo, this place is ginormous! Yuppie used to dream of traveling outside Algo, but now it just can't be done. Holy hell. Heard nobody survived in the accident of 10 years ago. Okay.
What do we got here? Holy mackerel. Well, that's very expensive, huh? Very expensive. <clears throat> Pretty much everything seems to be an upgrade there. Rolf, I may have seen such a name on the boarding list of that last spaceship. Laser sword, laser bar. Oh, laser bar. And I could have forward to... You know, I think I will. I mean, I'll take it. It's fine with me. Everyone used to believe that traveling in space was not dangerous at all. Oh no, humans! Oh no, get out of the way. Please, move. Sir. Please. For the love of God, move. Move. Holy shit. Dude, he's not moving. Oh my god. Wow, that's brutal. No, 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 no. I hate misclicking, man. It's so bad. All right, so there's a lot of things that I want to buy, but we don't have nearly enough mesetas, so I guess I'll have to figure that out. But hey, we got a new warp spot, and we did get some new stuff for Nuri. That's positive. All right, well. Uh, we know we need the Marrera leaves, and at this point, it appears that there's really nothing else to do. So let me see here. I'm gonna look at my, uh, my guide. Do-do-do. Oh, wow. This place is even bigger than I thought, apparently. If it's the place that I'm thinking of. Well, let's continue to look around here then, I suppose. Also, I do want to let you guys know that I caught wind about a character that I don't have yet. I guess probably the last character, right? Um, she's a thief, and apparently, you can... Wait, am I in the right place? Maybe I'm in a, the wrong place here. Anyway, apparently, you can obtain, I'm assuming by stealing, a item that allows you to save from anywhere. So, I might look into that. Anyway, I think we're okay for now. So, let's go... Actually, let's warp back to Paseo. Where was the warp... ...thing? Was there a warp thing here? Alright. 
And I think this is the last town on uh, our current area of the game. I think everything else must be a dungeon. But let's go see if we're able to get that character yet. And I, I like the current makeup of my party right now, so I'm probably not going to change it, but... Yep. Hello, Rolf. You are just as handsome as they say. I am sheer gold. Sheer gold. That's fucking funny. I am a thief. I care a little for peace and justice. I steal for fun, and frankly, I think your little outing will be packed with thrills for me. I think I'd like to go with you. Remember, I am sheer of the wind. Nothing can catch me. You want me to come with you? What do you want to give me a new name? No. Yep. Alright, let's check out Sheer. Although, why is it in caps? <laughs> Although well to do, she enjoys the thrill of stealing. Um, anyway. Okay. Interesting. Alright. So I'm checking something out here. This is so weird. <laughs> what the fuck? So, I don't know if this is entirely accurate or not. But apparently, if I get her up to level 10... I can keep going in the central tower, and she disappears, and then eventually she goes back home, and she has the item. And then apparently you can keep going into shops, and she steals stuff? How does that work? I mean, that, that'd be a big uh, help, so you don't have to keep grinding for so much gold, but... I don't know, that sounds wild. Is that really how it works? To be fair, it's getting incredibly late, so I actually might give it a try, at least. Huh. I'm very intrigued right now, I'll say that much. Um... Interesting. Alright, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause the footage. I'm not gonna stop this part of the playthrough, though. But I, I think... We're gonna reorganize... Nay has to be in my party, so we'll keep Rudo. And I think I'll do the sheer thing? She's level 1 though, right? Yeah. She has one dagger, a carbon suit, and shoes. <sighs> and what's my deal here? Oh, I have, like, no money. Oh, man. Um... I guess I could, like, just have her set to... Watch him a call and just fart around. This is interesting. So, um, yeah, basically, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this, uh, level up central tower thing a try and see if it actually works. I mean... Worst case scenario, I end up with a shit ton of mesetas, and I've leveled up a fifth character, so it's not the end of the world. But, uh... Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do that, and I think I'll go here. And 
I'm just gonna pop outside real quick and see basically just how bad, you know, like, will she survive at all with her current gear? And then I'll, I'll pause the footage <clears throat> and obviously we'll continue on uh, looking for the Marrera leaves, but I, I'm cur curious, very curious. Also, how quickly will she level up, you know? Because, for example, like, Nay levels up insanely quick. Okay, nothing there, but also we were just fighting Locustas or whatever. Okay, so Shearer's dead already. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Hmm. This might be a little tough. I might have to uh, slog around the opening areas. Which is annoying. <sighs> Man, that's a bummer. It's been a while since somebody died though, so... I guess it's interesting. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta go to the fucking thing with the heart, right? Where would that be? There it is. It's been so long. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Cheer. not mean to do that. Alright, well, for now... What we're gonna do is... We will save... If I could remember where the hell... There it is. So yeah, here's what the deal is gonna be, guys. We're gonna do some grinding. Ah, only 14 points, huh? Alright. So yeah, guys, we're gonna do some grinding, um, and when I pick back up, I'll be back in Paseo, and we're gonna try this thing with the Visophone, and see what we could do maybe with stealing. So this is gonna be a bit of a, uh, an off-course <laughs> sort of, uh, part of the playthrough, but it should be interesting, so stay tuned. Alright guys, I realize uh, this particular part of the playthrough is probably going to be scuffed at this point. Um, <laughs> but here we are. We had another grind session, so there you can see my current leveling uh, in Mesetas, which is good because we wanted to get some armor upgrades for our other characters anyway. Uh, but most importantly, we got Sheer up to level 10, who apparently is able to steal stuff. Don't exactly know how it works, but we're going to try to steal this Visiphone from the central tower here. I guess you pretty much just keep going in and out, and then eventually she disappears. I don't know if it's designated as far as how long it takes or if it's completely random. I guess we'll kind of learn on the fly together, and if I feel like it's taking a super duper long time, I'll cut some of the footage out, obviously, but let's see. Um, I think you go to the room. And then you just keep leaving? Okay. So, yeah. And I'm wondering, is that how it works, too, with... Because I guess she could steal from merchants as well. You just go into shops and out of shops and then randomly she steals stuff? <laughs> I don't really know. Very interesting, though. But that'll be a, a big help for me, this item, because it allows you to save anywhere, apparently. And the reason it'll be a huge help is because, obviously, I don't have all the time in the world to uh, play and record, so... It'll jive very well with my schedule. 
I don't think you have to go into your inventory. I just did that there just in case. But yeah, I, I heard that it can take a while, so that's probably why, I guess. So we'll, uh, we'll do this, I don't know, maybe I'll do it like 10 more times for you guys on camera and then we'll probably, uh, cut the footage here. Hopefully I'm doing it right as well. We'll count that as two, by the way. Three. Four. Seven. So I saw a recommended level was 10 for this, but it's entirely possible the higher her level is, the better she is at stealing. So yeah. Oh, there we go. What? Sheer is gone. Interesting. So now I'm also very curious. I think I'm going to end up turning this into the uh, stealing brigade. <laughs> um, episode here. Hey, Shear's coming back. Sorry to make you worry, but I felt the breeze is calling, so I went for a little walk. Well, Rolf, let's get going. Alright, so does she have it now? Okay, so she has the Visaphone. So we're gonna give that to Rolf. Nice! So apparently I could save anywhere now? Making contact with the da- Nice, dude! Oh, that's huge. Uh, I mean, I'm probably overinflating it a tiny bit, but having the ability to perhaps save in dungeons is going to be ginormous. I'm not going to, you know, get ridiculous and save scum and all that kind of stuff, but so now I'm curious about her stealing. Because the area, just to let you guys know, I was looking at RPGclassics.com. I use them quite often just because their walkthroughs are pretty succinct. Um, but anyway, yeah, it says like they recommend now trying to go steal weapons, but they didn't designate which weapon shop. So I'm wondering like, can you steal good weapons from this place, even though they're not selling good weapons? I guess the only way to find out would be to try it, obviously, but... So... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll find out. It seems like the pattern is, is you go in and out, and then she leaves? I do have to make a note. I gotta make that a, uh, a short for the Visaphone. Visaphone short. Alrighty. Not a huge... So here's the thing. I don't hate making shorts but I don't like it being my primary form of content. Unfortunately, the nature of shorts, especially YouTube now, if you guys have seen, um, I don't know about desktop, but at least on mobile, they serve you shorts now, first. They never used to do that. I noticed that swapped over on my phone maybe like a week or two ago. And yeah, I mean, the numbers are, the numbers and the facts are the facts. My shorts perform pretty much just as good as my reviews, <laughs> which is sad. <laughs> they completely demolish everything else, like Let's Plays and unboxings and pickup videos and stuff like that. But uh, they're about on par with my reviews. In some instances, they've surpassed them, but... Anyway, I guess whatever gets a little bit of exposure is uh, always welcomed, right? So yeah, I think what I'm probably gonna do, guys, is I think we're gonna we're gonna try to steal here, 
And if I could steal something good... It'd be awesome. And I'm assuming this is how you steal, because that's how we stole the other thing. But... Uh, after I do steal... I do want to go buy some armor. And we'll probably leave off there. I'll probably keep this one short, because... Certainly don't have enough time to do a dungeon at this point. And I hate... Separating footages when you're in legacy dungeons and stuff. Just a pet peeve of mine. I'm sure you guys are getting uh, really annoyed at this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna cut the footage. And uh, whenever Sheer leaves or steals or whatever, I'll... <clears throat> excuse me. I'll pop back on for you. All right, we're back really quickly here. Um, I ended up walking in and out of the, the shop maybe five more times. And Sheer has left. And I did actually do a little bit of research. Apparently that's literally all you do. If you have Sheer at level 10 or above, you walk in and out of armor, weapon, and tool shops. And she just has a random chance to steal things. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. Um, that makes for an interesting... Like, that's a new form of grinding, man. And from what I see, she has a 55% chance to steal a dagger, a 25% chance to steal a laser shot, a 15% chance for a laser knife, and a 5% chance for a fire rod. Um, for the armor, it's a 45% chance for a jewel crown, or excuse me, a silver crown, 30% chance for a jewel crown, 15% for green sleeves, 10% for shoon boots, and then for the tool shop, it actually seems pretty good here. 55% chance for Trimate, 20% chance for a Hide a Pipe, which I don't know what that does. 20% uh, chance for Star Misty, and 5% for Moondew. So I remember seeing some scuttlebutt online about uh, using her to steal Moondews and Star Mists. Like, especially late game, because obviously, you know, this game is pretty difficult. So, um, all right, let's see what she's got. Uh, ideally here, I would love a fire rod, to be honest with you, because I think I'd end up giving that to, uh... ...to Amy. And I would like, for her, I'd like, uh... Oh, of course, just a dagger. <laughs> just a dagger. Um... Alright. Man, this is, this is cursed. This has opened up a whole new, like, level of me wanting to do things. Um... <sighs> hmm. Trying to think here. Alright, I'm going to... I'm gonna warp to, uh... Piata, or whatever it's called. Oh wait, hold on. Do I want to warp to Piata? I guess we could find out. <clears throat> so Sheer actually knows Ryuka now. Yep. Oh fuck, my bad. <laughs> All right, that was a flub. I forgot that I saved. Didn't mean to do that. All right, we have to. <laughs> Hard warp to uh, Piata. You know, I've been in a lot of these towns five, six, seven, eight times, and I still can't remember where everything is. As I continue to wander around here looking for the warp area. Are you here? And there we go. <clears throat> Alright. I don't remember if this place or uh, the other town was the one that was better for armor, but I wanted to check. I, 
right, let me let me pop up the armor situation here. Blue ribbon, ceramic. Okay, yeah, yeah. This was the really expensive shit. <sighs> it's really good though. That's the thing. I think I can give the ceramic chest. I think I actually am gonna drop a shit ton and give this to Rolf because he's been eating a lot of damage lately. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Alright, now I want to sell some stuff. It sucks because I really want Amy in my party, but I do like... I do like the ability for her to steal, but I, I don't know if she's worth it because Amy has all those really good heals. Oh, didn't mean to do that, by the way. Alright, let's sell... Fiber Coat. And we'll also sell... Well, I guess I could equip... I should probably equip that extra dagger for now, just in case I do bring her along. And I actually want to write that down in my notes. As, as rudimentary and kind of eh as it is, because at the end of the day it looks like you can only steal 12 things, I actually enjoy... this uh, sheer steel mechanic. It's just, you know, I don't mind grinding and stuff, so I've... always kind of had an affinity for... especially something easy like that, you're just going in and out. It's even more mindless than regular grinding. And I am uh, genuinely curious about the... Obviously the items are good to steal, but... A lot of the armors I haven't really heard of or really seen yet. So I'm going to assume that they are... Pretty legit. I'm just gonna walk out of town here. Gotta find my warp station. Alright. We will go to Zima. And I want to see if I could afford at least some sort of upgrade here. Um, maybe for... Oh, what does Nay have? A fiber vest. Oof, is that her? Oh. Huh. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm reading this correctly, but it appears that this might be Nay's best armor? Is that true? Yikes. Uh, that leads me to believe that she might not be very useful down the stretch, and she might just be an early game G. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, anyway. Do I have enough for the titanium armor? I want to get that for Rudo. so torn right now. Do I even ha I can't remember if I have the tight- I'm all fucked up, sorry guys. <laughs> I mean, Rudo's always gonna be in my party, so I guess I should get that for him. That's for, like, the head, right? I want titanium armor, is that not here? 
Fuck, that might have been at the other place. Wasting all my money now. It would be nice if you can get the uh, ability to teleport. Yeah, so my goal right now is I'm just trying to update Rudo's, like, main gear. And then I'm gonna go on a stealing <laughs> expedition. <laughs> a stealing and grind expedition before we head off to the next uh, dungeon, which I believe will be with our new vehicle that we acquired, so. But yeah, when, like, sort of side questy things are done right, I get super into it. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of how I went off the rails with Lufia 2's, like, casino and monster, uh, feeding and stuff. Um... Shit, man. Am I stupid? The answer's probably yes, but... Like, where do I get the titanium armor? I could have sworn that... I don't know, maybe... What the hell, dude? Where... <sighs> oh, I'm all messed up, man. Aren't we in... Where are we right now? Aren't we in Query? Or are we in Oputa? I think we're in Oputa. Did I miss it? Maybe it was named something weird. So, it should be here, because if it wasn't in Piazza, it should have been the next one. Okay, I guess I didn't come here, or there's two shops, or I'm losing my mind. Either way, I remember this one now because of the knife boots. Okay, and we have just enough for the titanium armor. I'll give that to Rudo. No. Can't afford anything else anyway. And let's equip that to Rudo. Alright. Nice. And then let's sell... This. No, we didn't mean to do that. Also just realized, I guess if you steal in a... incorrect town, you have to go back to your hometown in order to, uh, get Sheer back in your party. Okay. So... I actually can... do this, right? Yep. Alright, cool. So yeah, again, a little bit of a scuffed, uh, part of the playthrough, I realize. So what is my goal going to be, guys? My goal is now going to be, uh, before the next recorded part, I'm going to try to steal a bunch of crap with Sheer, here in this town. And after I do that, I'm probably going to remove Sheer out of my party. And, um... Bring Amy back in, because we're going to go do that one dungeon. But yeah, a couple of interesting notes, man. I'm starting to think that sooner rather than later, um... Nay is going to get outclassed. But I can't bring her out of my party right now, so I don't know what happens there. Either way, guys. Thank you for sticking with me, and hopefully you've been enjoying the playthrough. And if you have, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more of my first ever playthrough of Fantasy Star 2 here on the Sega Genesis. Take care.